Hey everyone, my name is Tom J. McCoy and I'm a director, editor, and colorist from Arizona. In this video, I'm gonna be going over some intermediate codecs that you can use in Vegas Pro. So if you're not familiar what an intermediate codec is, uh, it's something very close to being an uncompressed video that you can use as a master file or something you can use to pass off to a colorist or VFX artist or something like that. Something that is very, very high quality and you're not gonna lose any color information or data or anything like that. So what I have here is just uh, commercial, it's 3840 by 1920. Uh, the reason it's that aspect ratio is because we, we filmed for two to one. So it's the essential equivalent of 4K, just in the two to one aspect ratio. Uh, 23976, this was handed to me as a colorist at ProRes 444, and I'll go over what uh, all those numbers and everything mean. So in order to get started, we're gonna go up to the settings wheel, wheel here, make sure it's all good. 3840 by 1920 looks good. 8-bit uh, is actually gonna be your Rec. 709, so leave that. Full resolution quality, we're gonna choose to best. Uh, leave that as Gaussian, no interlace mode, and disable resample. If you're unfamiliar what to do with your resample mode, I have a video covering that uh, that you can take a look at as well. But for now, just disable resample, press apply. That all looks good. And to do an intermediate codec to this, if we're going to export, we're gonna to go to file. And uh, you could do export here as an XML and you could open up the project in DaVinci or something like that. But for this video, since we're going over intermediates, we're gonna to go to render as. And there's a lot of options here. And I'm on Windows and on Windows, we don't have a ProRes option or a DNX HD option. But what we do have is Magix Intermediate, which is essentially Vegas's version of ProRes built in to Vegas. So we're gonna use this as our intermediate and I'm gonna use this as a template. So let's go ahead and select this uh, first option here and go to customize. So include video, obviously. Frame size you wanna have set to whatever your, your project is here. So we're gonna do custom frame size and we're gonna set our width to 3840 and our height to 1920 because that's what our project is set to. Go ahead and leave this unchecked. Um, so profile, we're gonna go ahead and select 444, but um, I'm kinda gonna go over what these numbers mean, but in the description of this video, I'm gonna put this article in here, which actually explains what all these numbers mean. It explains 444, 422, and 420. Um, this doesn't actually give the option for 420. I don't really see a need to ever use 420, but some people might use it. Um, but essentially what 444 is, is for every pixel you're getting full color information and full luminance information. 422 for every pixel you're getting half the information. A lot of cameras will film 422 HQ which is still a very high resolution codec that you can use. Um, it's just smaller bit rate and 444 is going to be higher bit rate and it's going to give you your full information. I typically hand off in a 444. Um, however, if somebody handed me a 422 HQ to color or something like that, I would probably hand them back a 422 HQ. Typically, I'm communicating with an editor or VFX artist or something like that when I'm handing something back as to what they want. XQ is typically for HDR. Um, so if you're doing an HDR video, this is the highest bit rate possible, but 444 and 444 XQ are both 12-bit codecs. So you could use any of these. But if you're not doing something HDR, it's not necessary to do an XQ. So we're gonna use 444 for this video. Frame rate, this video was shot 23976. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Field order, progressive scan. Aspect ratio, uh, we wanna keep this square, one. Uh, we didn't do anything anamorphic here. Output color space, we're gonna leave as default. This is just gonna be uh, Rec. 709. Audio, leave the way it is. And project, we wanna have this set to best, leave everything else the same. I'm not gonna go over color space because I could be here for five days talking about color space. Um, so we're gonna leave that the way it is. It's just gonna to default to Rec. 709. And that is how you use intermediate codecs. So these intermediate codecs are very close to being uncompressed, full resolution, master files you can use to pass on to editors, VFX artists, colorists, something like that. You can also use it as a master file to keep the highest resolution possible for your project. So that's intermediate codecs. It's very quick to go over, but it's very useful information to have. Uh, these are very big file sizes, so use these sparingly. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you don't like this video, leave a dislike. It helps me know what kind of content you guys are looking for on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.